The camp, or the construction and assembly mobile platform, is your traveling home base and it allows you to stake a claim in Appalachia. You pick up your very own camp when leaving Vault 76 from the camp display. It's some sort of little kit thing which presumably has everything you need to get set up. Think of the camp as your mobile home away from home. Well, you know, just your home. When you exit the vault and begin following in your overseer's footsteps, you'll come across her own camp, which she left for you and other vault dwellers to use. It has some simple, basic crafting stations and is meant as an introduction to the purpose of camps. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. You can only build camp outside of important areas and where other players haven't already set up camp, so I couldn't set up camp inside Flatwoods. When I first set up my own camp, I picked a place just outside of Flatwoods. I was about to exit the game and just wanted to set down a little place to cook up some grub and take a short nap. I walked a ways out and found a little spot on the cliffside here. It was some uneven terrain and I didn't have many resources yet, so I just focused on the basics. A cooking station, my stash box, a sleeping bag, no floors, walls, or a roof. I was roughing it here, but Flatwoods was a short distance away, so I felt safe enough. Once I got further along in the game and stored up quite a few resources, I thought it would be time to set up a proper campsite. I picked a little place just off a road, near the train tracks, but secluded in a bit of woods. There was even this log, which I hoped would give me an ample supply of wood to build my new camp with. I also had some pretty flowers nearby. It was a nice, quaint location. Building camp is a lot like settlement building in Fallout 4. You open the build menu and find what you want to place down. A lot of the objects are pretty much the same too, so anyone who played that should know what to do pretty easily. I started off with a basic foundation and threw up some walls. Inside I put some basic workbenches, armor, weapons, chemistry, and a tinker's workbench which turns out has nothing to do with making fairy dust. It took me a little while to figure out doors. I had doors in the build menu, but I didn't know how to get them into the wall. Turns out, you have to cycle through the wall variations to one with a doorway. So once I had a doorway, I placed a door. I also spruced up the place with a bit of decor, a motivational poster, some nice scenery, and this lawn gnome boy vault? Lawn boy vault gnome? Boy lawn gnome vault? Vault boy lawn gnome. This was a premium item I purchased with Adams in the Atomic Shop. Check out that video if you're interested. I also needed a place to sleep and decided to upgrade from sleeping on the floor in a sleeping bag. I put my bed and my stash crate under the stairs, making myself a little bedroom area, Harry Potter style. Upstairs is a bit misleading though. It's more of a roof at the moment. On the roof, I've placed a few turrets guarding the perimeter. Turrets take up a lot of budget, which is this little meter here. There's a maximum to it, and when you hit the maximum, you can't build no more. I'm told items you have stored still count toward the budget as well. Because of this, I'm not expecting any architectural masterpieces in Fallout 76. I suppose if you do without defenses, you can stretch your budget a lot further though. Of course, then mole rats will probably tear it all down. I also put my cooking station outside. I'd like to have it inside, but I don't have the cooking stove type one unlocked yet. I could theoretically put these basic ones inside if I wanted to, but it would be a fire hazard. Plus, the smoke would probably suffocate me. Safer to stick to cooking outside for now. Eventually, my camp got packed up. This is an annoying feature which Bethesda plans to update. When you log in and someone else has already built in your camp area, your camp will get packed up and you have to go find somewhere else to set up camp. But now, Bethesda says they'll give you the option to pack up or try finding another server. Still, I suspect some of the prime real estate locations will be hard to get, but this change will certainly encourage me to venture out and stake my claim somewhere. With that, I'll also focus on building a more elaborate camp than the basic necessities I've managed with so far in the game. I'll post a video of my new and improved camp after, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell or whatever you're supposed to do so you don't miss that upload. After my first forced pack up, I tried setting up camp in a couple other places, but finally settled here. It's near my original location, but this time alongside the railroad tracks. I set up a little platform outside with turrets, but eventually got rid of those because enemies could attack them too easily. There are these defense walls too, but I'm not really sure how they work. I set up some fences around my corn, hoping it would block enemies from destroying the corn. It might have worked because some wild mongrels attacked and ate the fences before they ate the corn. Fences are much easier to replace. 
You can use your camp to produce some resources. I have a lot of corn and some mutt fruit. I found some blackberries recently too, so I planted them. There are also water purifiers that can be set up, but I haven't done that yet because they require electricity, and I haven't set up any generators yet. I'm also waiting until I have access to water so I can build one of these industrial ones. There's also this fertilizer thing, which I haven't used. I have used some mineral extractors at workshops, but don't have them in my build menu here. They probably require the proper plans and or you may have to actually have a resource deposit within your build area to see them. Oh, by the way, you can add locks to your doors. I put a level three lock on mine just in case. I don't want anyone stealing my vault gnome lawn boy. One great thing about camps is that they're a free fast travel point. So if you put them in a good location, it'll make it cheaper for you to get around. Also, given that they're called camps, I think the intention was always to keep them mobile. I don't think Bethesda wanted players staking a permanent claim somewhere on the map, but instead to move their camp around with them as they quest. However, a lot of players don't like that, probably me included, and would prefer building something more permanent. It can be particularly annoying to move when it's hard to lay down the same structure you previously built on new terrain. Fortunately, that might be something Bethesda fixes soon too. They said we'd get some terrain editing features Features, which sounds like deleting or cleaning up trees and debris. I don't think we'll be able to raise lower or level terrain, but who knows. This should help with these little plants creeping in through the floor here though. I'd like to get more plans to unlock better things. There are several plans for sale at vendors, but I'm cheap so I haven't bought any yet. Also, when vendors are selling plans, there is no easy way to tell whether you already have them, so you have to be careful not to waste your caps. You can also find some plans out in the world or by completing quests. Remember to go to your notes in your inventory and read them in order to unlock the corresponding builds. I'll probably spend a few more atoms on some premium items as well. Maybe some nice Vault Tech linoleum to go with my Vault Gnome Boylan. This has been a nice humble home for the time being, but I love building, so I'm going to do a lot more of it soon. I'm especially looking forward to Bethesda's fixes regarding unwanted debris and the camps getting packed up. With those big fixes, I'll feel a lot better about investing time in building a nice home. In Fallout 4, building settlements was my favorite part, and maybe I'll show off some of those builds in a future video too. Well, that's my camp. I hope you enjoyed the tour, and I can't wait to show you version 2 in the coming weeks. Please subscribe if you're interested in following along with my Fallout 76 journey. Thanks for watching.